the bag! Get the bag! Get the bag! Mister? Is there any water? For Pete's sake, don't tell me you walked out here. <laughs> it must be 20 miles to the nearest town. Well, it might as well be 50. Well, uh, sit yourself down there. Let me see if I can find you some water here. Huh? Oh, yeah, here we go. There you go, young man. Oh, hey, 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 take it easy there, fella. <laughs> You could get sick. <laughs> the name is Walter. Walter. I'm Charles. It's nice to meet you, Walter. Nice to meet you, Charles. <clears throat> no, you just hang on to that now. <laughs> you know, I'm not one to butt into people's business, but I gotta ask you, what are you doing out here? Same as you, I guess. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, my shoes were hurting me, <laughs> so I thought I'd just relax a little bit. Yes, sir, nothing like kicking your shoes off after a long walk. Nothing like it in the world. Go ahead, try it. What? Kicking your shoes off. Go ahead, take them off. <laughs> well, I don't mind if I do, actually. <laughs> You know, it, uh, it soothes the soul to uh, loosen your laces every now and then. But, but, but tell me, what, what are you doing out here? I was on the train bound for Ventura. I guess someone there thought I didn't need to ride no more. Uh, so you don't have anything on you, huh? Yeah. Well, I've gone to good cause now, I suppose. They stole your stuff? <laughs> Well, you're a lucky man. <laughs> they could have killed you. What if they had a knife? They did. Oh. They're hungry. You know, you can't fault them for that. No, I suppose not. Can't fault them for that. Don't come around folks like you too often. Well, you got a heart of gold, son. I got a feeling for this. You know, that's very kind of you, Walter. But you don't know me. Say, have you ever had a Coca-Cola? <laughs> Say it again? Well, I figure a regular fella like yourself uh, might want a little refinement now and then. Ha ha ha. What do you think? Yeah, I've had several of those. I'm not much for luxuries nowadays, though. So. Well, this ain't much for luxury, my boy. Only five cents. Well, that's five cents that can go to patch the roof over my kids' heads. Well, then why don't you get it for them? They won't know what it is, Walter. 
Well, for five cents they learn. Look, Walter. My pockets are completely empty. Oh, uh, uh, may, may I? Oh, you got a beautiful family, Charles. And your wife is quite a peach. I don't know if they'll recognize me anymore. So you're a working man, huh? Yeah. Yeah, up in uh, San Francisco. I was working on the new bridge. Oh, the Golden Gate. Yes, yes, I heard of that. <laughs> oh boy, what I'd give to see that someday. They say it's really something. Yeah, it is. You know it'd be really something, Walter? Getting back to see my family. Absolutely. You know, I think that little daughter of yours would really like one of these. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, you are tenacious, Walter. Look at me. All I got are the clothes on my back. And your family, Charles. Yeah, my family too. Well, I just thought I'd try. <laughs> Wouldn't be very good at my job if I didn't try. You know, the owner of this place isn't much on trying either, is he? Some journey to make it out to the store. Well, maybe that's why men like you and me go for long walks. <laughs> Just for the journey. Anybody even run this place? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, uh, I almost forgot. <laughs> That'd be Henry. Uh, he's got to be around here somewhere. Henry? Henry? Oh, yes, <laughs> uh, Henry, this is Charles. Charles, uh, this is Henry. How do you do? I do fine, thanks. I didn't hear you come up. I was in the back putting up a shelf. Normally I hear the cars drive up. So you own this place? Oh no sir, Mr. Price, now he owned this place. He got several gas stations and stores all around. Now I'll tell a secret, he got too many too fast. He ain't got much money no more. I hear he's even selling gasoline at 18 cents a gallon. So, are you the only one working here? Well, I do all the repair work. Fix up a few things here and there. Sometimes even got to put in my own money. <laughs> kind of hoping Mr. Price one day is going to sell me this here store. <laughs> you come here like Mr. Walter? Barefoot and all? Yes, sir. <laughs> well, I just took my shoes off. Oh, oh, well, Mr. Walter, he ain't got no shoes. <laughs> but all that walking led me to you two fine fellas. Oh, Henry, I've been meaning to tell you, you, you got to start charging for all that water. You, you might even make a profit one day. Oh, no, sir, Mr. Walter. Some men, they need a drink, and they always welcome here. And thank you, Henry. Tell you the truth, I don't even know where here is. Oh, we just outside Napomo, about five miles north of Santa Maria. You don't say. What's that? Home. I'm closer than I thought. You don't say. Yeah, maybe only like 15 miles or so. Henry, thanks for the hospitality. It was nice meeting the both of you. Good day. So, wait a minute. Walter, I've been wanting to get home to my family. I'm too close now. Well, Charles, are you walking? Don't you want you? I don't want anything. Look, I'm sorry. It's not about what you want in life. It's about what you need. You want to know what I need, Walter? It's not a bottle of soda pop and it's not a doll. Even if it's for my kids, I don't need them. I don't even need my shoes anymore. In fact, you can have them, Walter. I know you could use them. What I need is to be home. Home to hold my family in my arms again. No offense, Walter, but there isn't anything in that bag of yours that I want. Well, maybe you'd be needing some company. That I might. Well, my, my legs are rested up, and uh, I'm sure Henry over there is uh, sort of bored with me hanging around. Oh, it's okay, Mr. Walter. Well, in fact, if you hadn't come along, I wouldn't have had the nails I need to fix up them shelves that need to be fixed. 
You carry around nails, a bottle of soda pop, and a doll. What else you got in that bag? Oh, well, uh, <laughs> well, uh, you know, just what uh, anybody might need anytime. I just, uh... Oh, no. Who's that? Well, he's coming. Henry, what the hell is the matter with you? You ain't got the sign fixed yet. I'm sorry, Mr. Price. I was working on them shelves inside the store. What do you think I want? Someone driving down the road sure as hell ain't gonna stop at some dump with the signs hanging by a thread. I I'm sorry. Sorry. You ain't sorry yet. But just a minute now. Shut your trap, well, Take it easy man. now, you've been drinking. Well, if you've been through what I've been through. Well, nothing in life is easy, my friend. You, peddler man? I got things that people need. That's so. Well, take a look around. What do you got for me? I said, what do you got for me, peddler man? I got nothing for you. That's so. Mr. Price, hey, give that back. That ain't yours. You damn fool. I'm going to burn this godforsaken place to the ground. It's not happening while I'm here. If you want to get rid of it, I know Henry here can do with it just fine. So you beat it. Don't bother coming. So, well, you can have this hell hole, Henry. I don't need it anyway. I've had worse. <laughs> Boy, he sure left like a bat out of hell, didn't he? <laughs> Walter, why's your bag? Henry, I am so glad to hear about your new business. <laughs> oh, well, you can say that again. Well, if it weren't for you, Mr. Charles, I... Don't, know. I didn't do anything. Oh, Henry, uh, being that you run this place now, why don't you just knock off for the afternoon? Maybe go home and see the wife. Celebrate a little. <laughs> uh, maybe even uh, accompany me and Mr. Smith as we saunder down the road. Well, well I think that'd be just fine. Well, I'll go get my things. All right. <laughs> oh, Henry, he's a good man. Just like you, Charles. Plenty of heart. And that is a treasure that no man can steal from you. You remember that now, you hear? I will. Walter, you said Mr. Smith. Oh, I oh, don't... oh, and my, my suitcase here. <laughs> yeah, that. Where'd all your stuff go? What's going on here, Walter? Give my regards to Margaret and the children. You truly have a beautiful family. Hey, Mr. Walter, I was wondering if you wanted to... Where'd Mr. Walter go? Thank you.
Thanks again, Henry, for the company. I really appreciate it. Hey, tomorrow morning we'll get started real early and fix that whole place up, huh? Well, that sounds fine. Well, say, Mr. Charles, you think we'll ever see Mr. Walter again? Hmm. I don't know. But I can't help wonder. Maybe he's just always been there, you know? Hmm. I wonder how often we've seen him before. Never knew it was really him. You sure you don't want to come inside for any dinner? Oh, no. I, my wife and children are going to be expecting me home soon, too. All right, Henry. See you tomorrow, then. I'll see you tomorrow. Children, your father's home. Wow. Okay, I think I have something in here for you guys. I have, at the very bottom, Coca-Cola. We're going inside. <laughs> and for you, Chloe, I have a very special something. Smiling children, a whole family again. What more could I want?